all right everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be learning about the pythagoras theorem which is a part of geometry so how can we define it well hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the two sides here you can see in the following figure the a and b are the two sides of a triangle so and here the c is the hypotenuse just in case you don't know what hypotenuse is hypotenuse is the longest side in triangle so here we, just by seeing it you can say it's the longest side now let's say you want to find the values here the values are not mentioned so i have given them a variable or just written them as a so we can simplify it like that so what can we so we can say that in right angle triangle the square of on hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on legs so if we take the squares on the legs which is a and b and if we add them we get the square of c so i'm going to be showing you squares in a second all right so next is how can we prove it so let's say you want to find the hypotenuse as you can see in the following figure you can see the a square and the b square well, A, as mentioned earlier, A is the side of a triangle and B is the side of a triangle and C is the hypotenuse. The values are not defined here, but let's say they all are named as A, B, C. So you want to find C. So how do you find C? So you, you add A square plus B square is equal to C square. This is the equation. So when you add A square plus B square, you get C square. So as you can see, the squares are shown here. A is marked as green and B is marked as blue. So when you add this, when you add both of them, you get C. As you can see, uh, the you know, you can see this the square of C is clearly bigger than A and B. So what this property says is that if you if you try to fit A and B, they both will fit exactly in C. So now, let's say you find you want to find a side. So earlier we looked how we can find the hypotenuse. But let's say the hypotenuse is given and a side is given but you want to find the other side. So let's say you want to find B. So how do you find it? So it's as simple as that. You just subtract C square which is the hypotenuse and A square which is, which is a side. So when you subtract squares of them you get B square. Again, you can see A is the side of a triangle, B is the side of a triangle, and C is the hypotenuse. So we have a hypotenuse and a side, and we and they are asking us to find the other side. So you just subtract those, you just subtract the two given values to find the other one. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. See you next time.